You might catch yourself sliding in and out of a hallucinatory state after this is all over. If you do, just relax and enjoy it. This is an experiment, this is an experiment in, mind in mind formation. In formation. In formation. Forming, forming, controlling, controlling, operating your, operating mind, your mind and your brain. We're using digital, We're using techniques, digital techniques to overload, to overload and scramble, and scramble, confuse, confuse, unfocus, unfocus your, mind, your mind. leaders, political leaders, who will give you order. They'll give you rules and commandments. But chaos is basically good. Relax, surf the waves of chaos, and learn how to redesign your own realities. Sit back. Flow. Open your eyes. Turn off your mind. Unfocus and let the waves of chaos roll over your brain. Float, drift, zoom, design, create, new order, your order, your style from chaos. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah
of human life is to know thyself. Think for yourself. Question authority. Think with your friends. Create, create new realities. Philosophy is a team sport. Philosophy is the ultimate, the ultimate aphrodisiac pleasure. Learning how to operate your brain. Learning how to operate your mind. Learning how to redesign chaos. leaders and the political leaders want to give you orders to run your life, to determine how you think. The basic goal is to operate your own mind. Not think for yourself. Around 3,000 years ago, a group of human beings in Athens, Greece, developed a new philosophy. The basic religion of humanity is called humanism. Socrates said, the aim of human life is to know thyself. Create and design your own order in the chaos. Socrates did not give commandments. Socrates did not impose order. Socrates asked questions. He encouraged his friends to speculate, to design, to create, to interact with their own versions of reality. Socrates said, the way to perform philosophy is in small groups raising questions, learning from each other, changing, changing your mind, growing together, thinking together. The religious leaders said, you can't say that, Socrates. The gods are in control. Who are you to say you have to say? How dare you think you can know? Gods determine. Sacrifice to the gods. Obey the gods. Socrates said, no. Look within. For that, it gave Socrates the hemlock. Because he dared to tell people, think for yourself. And question authority. You must learn how to reprogram, reform, inform your own brain. To do this, to take responsibility for your brain, it is necessary to question everything that you have been taught, to question authority, to learn, to take the brave step of taking responsibility for operating the brain, for designing, redesigning, reforming the chaos within. Throughout human history, as our species has faced the frightening, terrorizing fact that we do not know we are or where we're going in this ocean of chaos has been the authorities, the political, the religious, the educational authorities who attempted to comfort us by giving us order, rules, regulations, informing, forming our minds, their view of reality. 
to think for yourself, you must question authority and learn how to put yourself in a state of vulnerable, open-mindedness, chaotic, confused vulnerability to inform yourself. Then came Marsha McLuhan in the 1950s. McLuhan said, in the Socratic sense, the medium is the message. The words you use, the modes of communication you use, determine the realities you inhabit. Most of our lives, most of us live in realities determined by others, imprinted in our brains, by education, by religion, by politics, by the authorities. McLuhan said, if you want to change your mind, change the medium, change the words you use, change the mode of communication. If you change the medium, you change yourself, you change your society. Television 
are creating realities, imprinting messages from the sponsors who are not usually interested in your learning how to design your own realities. your screens, controls, programs your mind. Your eyes are the windows of your brain. The eyes are extensions of your brain. The eyes are made up of hundreds of layers of neurons, rods, cones, your eyeballs deal with one energy. It's light. Through your eyes come illumination, vision, perception, enlightenment, illumination. Your eyes are the windows of your soul. Who controls your eyeballs? Programs your brain. Learn how to dial. Fine-tune your eyeballs. Learn how to unfocus your eyes. Dilate your pupils. Learn how to open up to illumination and light. And then refocus and redesign with your own linear order, your own designs, your own language. on in this demonstration the message of Ralph Waldo Emerson, the first and probably the greatest American philosopher, who said, divinity lies within. Don't look to the churches or to the big marble institutions. Your divinity lies within. You must learn to operate your brain, operate your soul, learn how to communicate brain to brain, soul to soul, with other people. Your divinity lies within.
you operate your own brain skillfully, you can learn to design your own realities, learn how to communicate in the language of the brain, electrons and photons. We are doing this now. We are sending messages from our brains using the vehicle of electrons and photons to your eyeballs. As we watch this screen, our minds are bedazzled, our minds are softened, our linear, sharp, logical thinking is is uh, gentle and we're communicating brain to brain we're using the electron computer circuits to feed each other's brains with light language that 
based on letters, not based on grammars, the language which we all understand, based on clusters and waves, light and sound. We all understand, we all celebrate, we all glory in the light, the illumination, the contact, the intersection, the interaction around the world, the language of form. We will create a language of international, global brain link-up. Anyone in any culture watching this screen will get the general picture. It's one global village. It's one global human spirit, one global human race. As we link up through screens, linked by electrons and photons, we will create for the first time a global humanity, not separated by words or minds or uh, nationalities or uh, religious biases. Now, listen to the message from the sponsor. There is one global human race We're just now learning to communicate brain to brain, soul to soul.